What's going on everybody? Lone Gemini here, finally bringing you my compilation video for Mob of the Dead. The Easter Egg Pop Goes the Weasel. This Easter Egg is pretty much a combination of three achievements, that being No One Escapes Alive, Complete the Cycle, and Pop Goes the Weasel. All those combined to be the Easter Egg for this map, so that's about 125 gamer score that you're going to get. Now, there's only one step I don't go over in detail in this video, and that's how to build the plane. I thought that was pretty self-explanatory with all the glowing green parts and needing to get the Warden's Key, which pretty much sparkles right in your face. Um, <laughs> but if you don't know how to do that, I will have a link in the description to a video that I've already posted for that. So if you need to know how to build a plane, you will have resources, as well as a couple other links that will be a little more detailed. Um, I've completed this Easter egg numerous times by now, and it's really kind of, it's not that difficult, so don't kind of overthink it, I guess. And I have been able to complete this Easter egg with two players. You cannot do it solo, at least to my knowledge so far, so let's get into this. Step number one, you're going to want to acquire the Hell's Retriever. And to do that, there are three dogs on the map that you have to feed zombies. And I believe you have to feed each of them six zombies. You know, they're kind of like hell dogs, so it's like six, 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 ha, ha, ha. Um, so that's pretty much how to do that. I have a video that I put out that's a little more detailed on how to get the Hell's Retriever. So if you need to know how to do that, link will be in the description. So um, I'm going to go through these very fast because, like I said, they're pretty easy. Um, there's one by the starting room, as you just saw me do. The second one... Um, would be by the docks and the last one will be up by the roof now I say those you know second third first the order of the dogs does not matter as long as you feed each of them six zombies you will hear a little noise go off once you have fed them enough and they will disappear into the wall and the mark that's left on the wall will be glowing and that lets you know that you've fed the dog enough um, as soon as you feed each dog six zombies, you will have to go down into the tunnels. Um, that's kind of right below the showers right here, and there'll be the symbol on the wall with the three dogs, and you go pick up your Hell's Retriever. So that's kind of step one to the Easter egg, I would say, because um, you will need this in order to complete the Pop Goes the Weasel achievement. Now, step number two is collecting the blue skulls and getting the free Blundergat. This is the one step I'm unsure about whether it's required for this Easter egg. I always end up doing it anyway, so, I mean, you get a free Blundergat out of it. I mean, it's a pretty good wonder weapon, but, you know, it's, why not get it? I'm not 100% sure, like I said, if it's required, but you might as well go around the map and collect the blue skulls and get it anyway, so, um... Once you do this and you get the blunder yet, you can actually get the golden spork. I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but if you want to know how to get the golden spork, go ahead and I will have a link in the description on a video on that too. So, I mean, that can get you around 40 pretty much by just, you know, one hit stab. So it works out fairly well. Um, like I said, I'm going through the skulls pretty fast because I already have a video on that and that will also be in the description. I'll have tons of videos in the description. Um, but, you know, I figured these first couple steps I'll go through in a little detail. That way, you know, you at least have those. And the only step I missed was just putting the plain parts together because I thought that was kind of obvious. Um, so once you collect all the skulls, you'll get the Blundergat to pop out in the warden's office. You go pick it up. There you go. I'm pretty sure it's required. And the only reason I say that is because um, the guard, Brutus, will kind of say a name when you pick it up. Well, not a name, but a number. And that's one of the numbers that you'll need later on for the Easter egg. So that's why I say it's required, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, but you might as well just do it anyway. So, All right, step number three. This is the one I skipped. Building the plane and traveling, traveling to the Golden Gate Bridge. As soon as you build the plane, just board it and travel to the Golden Gate Bridge. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. Um, not much else to say. Step four would be, step four, step four will be to travel to the Golden Gate Bridge three times. That's completing the cycle. You will have to do that in order to enter in the numbers for step five. Step five will not start unless you've traveled to the Golden Gate Bridge three times. Now, once you've 
travel to the Golden Gate Bridge three times, you will see the numbers cycle inside. I call it the spiral staircase. I don't know what room to call this, but the numbers will not cycle. You will not hear them go off and clicking or whatever until you've completed the cycle by traveling to the Golden Gate Bridge three times. I've said that twice. It is required in order to do this. Now the first number is going to be 872. The second number is 101. Now the order of these numbers does not matter at all and you don't have to do them in a certain time limit or anything. You just have to punch in the numbers. That's all. The third number I believe is 481. No, I, I'm going to do 386, I believe. 386, and the last one's going to be 481. Like I said, the order does not matter. Um, if you need to know the numbers, go ahead and look at the slide that started the step. Um, but that was 872, 101, 386, and 481. Those are the four numbers you need to enter once you've completed the cycle. And once that happens, that kind of starts step number six. As soon as you enter in those numbers correctly, it might take a couple seconds after you've entered in the numbers, but you will see the screen go gray and you will hear the first audio. My name is Stanley Ferguson. I was a guard at Alcatraz in 1933. We really want to take Paul around. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales in the prison's history. It's like they all got switched off. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Mollingham, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. Once you hear that first audio, you will have audio drops around the map, and they start by the spiral staircase. So just pick each one up and listen to the audio. This You're very close to the end. It's believed that Arlington somehow convinced three other inmates that he had devised a foolproof plan to escape the rock. It was a plan that would see them literally taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of Arlington's own design. How the weasel managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan was even possible remains a mystery to this day. What is known is that no such plane was ever built. Instead, the group's plans for freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting. would ultimately lead to a brutal altercation between the misguided Arlington and his former co-conspirators. Shift weapons, Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Billy Hansen lured the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof, where they intended to exact a bloody and violent revenge. participation in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. Okay, once you pick up that final audio by the roof, you're at the final step. You need to board the plane in afterlife. Um, don't get confused because you might not have an afterlife. Just end the round and have everybody stand by the afterlife thingy. I 
below you by Deadshot Dagger. Make sure, as you just saw, that the plane has fuel in it, because I'm pretty sure you have to have the plane, you know, able to fly to the Golden Gate Bridge in order to, you know, get there. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Just don't forget to fuel the plane. Now, honestly, like, you don't even have to press any buttons to get on the plane in afterlife mode, so as long as everybody's standing there, it will automatically put you on the plane. Your afterlife will charge down until you get onto the plane, so don't get confused that the afterlife should not be charging down. That doesn't happen until you get on the plane. Now this final step can be done two ways there's I wouldn't really call it an alternate ending but it goes either weasel dies or weasel kills everybody else so if weasel dies you're continuing the cycle if weasel kills everybody else you break the cycle so either way you will get the pop goes the weasel achievement but it doesn't really matter there's two ways to end it if you're on two player obviously it's easy whoever kills who first um that's you know the ending you're gonna have we were just experimenting trying to do this two player me and mitchy big shout out to him he's been helping me with all of this um we just wanted to finish it just to make sure we could do a two player so he took me out <laughs> as soon as he could because we wanted to end it so there's weasel going down the cycle continues if you heard from the audio you kind of know why they say the cycle continues um, but anyway, to do it the other way, we're going to have Weasel kill the other character, and <laughs> just my luck, I'm the person who always has to die, but anyway, if you watched, I mean, obviously, when you watched the step where I entered in the numbers, you saw it get kind of hectic with that first audio, like, when the numbers end, it'll automatically play an audio, and, you know, the screen will turn black and white try to save a zombie there because we were kind of freaking out because the round started and we were we didn't want to die and screw it up because we had gotten that far but um just try to save a zombie you don't have to freak out because if you save one during that round you can pick up all the audio drops you don't have to go another round yada 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 um but that's pretty much my tips like i said i'm not 100 percent sure if you have to get the blue skulls in order to do this but i'm not sure if the numbers will cycle in the um, spiral staircase unless you pick up that free blunder gat but I'm like I said I'm not a hundred percent sure on that that's the only step I don't know otherwise if you follow this guide step by step you will get this achievement along with no one escapes alive and uh, completing the cycle so anyway guys this is my compilation video I hope it helped you out I put a little time into this so I hope you appreciate it anyway I hope you enjoyed this is what I got for you. As always, this has been Lone Gemini, and until next time.